What is up guys, Lightning Tots Striking here again with another video and welcome back to Sword of the Lights in the back. And today we're gonna talk about something really crucial in the game, which is actually called the Awakening Skills. Ooh, scary. No, actually not, but yeah. I actually heard about it before, you know, having a break from the game. Um, yeah, if you don't know, I took like a one month break from the game because I had to focus on my finals, my college finals. And, but yeah, that's done. Well, kinda done, but anyway, so here we are, we're back. And I decided we're gonna talk about it. And besides that, we're gonna talk about the other events that happened while I was gone. <laughs> but yeah, so there's actually a bunch of good things that I missed out on. Um, so we have free 11 gacha pulls a day for skills. So this is your chance to get a lot of skills for 22 days, if I'm not mistaken. And we also have the holiday event, which is the faded photographs, which gives you um, like a chance to get the, uh, what do you call this? The awakening skill or the rush skill for that matter. I'm not exactly sure what it's called, but yeah. It's also the celebration for the second year anniversary of Sword Art Online, Integral Factor. And yeah, it's really cool. Um, you should check it out. And we also have this uh, anime broadcast event, uh, Part 11, which is um, the Knight and the Blacksmith's Quattro Money. I don't know how to pronounce that correctly. Okay, so the thing that we have to talk about is actually the last event, which is the Chaos Showdown. Because this particular event actually needs you, but doesn't necessarily require you to use Awakening skills. Um, but before we go on in depth with the event and talk about it and how awakening skills come into play, let's talk about the skills first. Alright, let's read this. Skill record awakening dominant ba dominate battles with recollection skills, introducing skill records with awakening. That's that's so redundant. <laughs> oh yeah, so yeah, you can see a little logo, I mean, a one or two or three or four. It depends on how much you awaken it. Um, but yeah, the, the number depends on how much you awaken it. Okay, so rush recollection. Activating rush recollection will grant you blaze, blaze, baseline effects that will temporarily temporarily increase your speed, max HP, and damage dealt. So basically, it's like giving your characters steroids. <laughs> well, not really, but yeah. <laughs> okay, so um, the recollection skill is actually pretty important. So recollection skills are bonus effects that activate at the same time as rush recollection and differ depending on the skill record that you're awakening. The grammar here is not actually helping in explaining this, but yeah. Basically, I think it's like the combination of every awakening skill that you have. It gives you a buff, I think. <laughs> but yeah, um, if I'm wrong, just you know, comment in the comment section below and call me out. No problem with that because we're all learning at the same time. Yes. <laughs> so yeah, if you have any thoughts about this, you just comment them down below. Okay, so now we go to the Chaos Challenge. Um, basically what this means is um, the bosses at the Chaos Challenge um, solo dungeon, um, they have a buff on 50% health that you will deal less damage to them. But if you have a Rush Recollection skill active, you become immune to like the damage reduction and you can do your original damage against him. Anyway, here are examples of the skills. Um, so this one's available to Gacha, and this one is available at the event, which gives you like, um, when you activate on Rush, it increases your switch gauge. And the other one, the Kirito one, actually increases your attack, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, so yeah, it's switch boost, rather. So, yeah, okay. So, yeah, alright, so there's a lot of data here. So, e equipping one Awakening skill record gives you 20% boost, yeah. Okay, so, basically, when you upgrade it to level 2, um, well, Awakening Level 2, it gives you 24% boost. And when you equip two skill records with Awakening Level 2, it gives you 28% boost. So basically, it kind of adds 2% each um, each additional level, probably. And then when you combine another one, another skill record with Awakening Level, at the same, uh, rather, with the same Awakening Level, so it adds another 2. Do I make any sense? But yeah. Alright, so the Rush Gauge, so as you can see here, when you have 100% of it uh, charge up, you have 25 seconds of activation time but when you use it on 50% you only have 10 seconds so it's smart to actually get it to 100% first before you use it because you well it depends actually on the situation okay so rush recollection okay here we go can be activated once the rush button gauge is at 50% or more and yeah you also get a ultra instinct after image or like the flash <laughs> but yeah so we're gonna talk about this in a bit because I think if I recall correctly there's an explanation about this below Okay, skill record and awakening level. So yeah, um, this is actually really weird because um, it's not the same as enhancing your skills. When you awaken skills, there's a chance for it to fail, and when you do fail, you actually lose the materials that you use, including the awakening star, which you can only get in the event if I'm not mistaken. All right, so aura size and color. Players will gain an aura when rush recollection activates, and traces of the aura will remain while the skill is active. And yeah, 
And it also says here that the aura will change um, according to the, you know, awakening skill records that you have in the same set and the levels, uh, the collective levels of all the skill record awakenings that you have. But yeah, you can see it here, the changes from the initial into the maximum. Okay, so these are the things that will cancel your rush. Um, timing out, player enters a near-death state, player opens a menu, and player performs a quick change. So, yeah, be extra careful using, you know, um, the rush because you might end up opening the menu by accident or switching weapons by accident and you lose the rush. Alright, so let me show you the rush. And, yeah, there we go. So this one is from the event, the UE one, uh, which gives you additional switch um, boost. And as you can see, I have Green Lantern power. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Well, yeah, it actually looks like the Flash is, um, you know, Speed Force, um, or when he runs around, uh, but yeah. Um, so, okay, you can see it actually here on the armor. Um, well, this one's a passive one, so this one's an ability. So, the Peaceful Smile Yui. Um, as I have said earlier, you can get this from the event, um, the second anniversary event, and it's the only skill that has Awakening that's free for now. And do take note that it's passive, so if you want an active skill record that has awakening, or more skills that have awakening, you have to spend money. <laughs> or at least you have to get lucky in the gacha. Okay, now let's talk about where you're gonna use these skills. So the Chaos Showdown. So basically, it's a solo Chaos Boss dungeon. And it's a little bit harder because on 50% of their HP, um, the they have a damage reduction. But the rewards are really great because the armor that you can get here has actually really high stats and it's actually, I think, on par of Integral Series weapons. So basically, this is the closest that we have to an Integral Series armor and they called it Dark Black Series. So, as you can see, the models for these armors are actually the models for the Chaos Boss avatars. So basically, instead of being avatars, they are armors instead. And the stats are really great. Like, these are probably the best armors that you can craft in the game as of now. So. It's really worth it, but at the same time, the grind is really grueling, so let me give you a sneak peek on how hard it is to make one of these. Now, take note that if you don't have a lot of good skills, it will take you like at least 10 minutes to finish one of those bosses. And, oh, let me just okay, go here. And take note that it takes you 10 minutes to take one down. Imagine this. You can only, I only got one Dark Black King Fang in like two runs. And uh, that was like 20 minutes, and then I haven't got any of these. You can actually get them from drops, but you can also craft them and look at how much you need to even make one of those. You need two of them. <laughs> you need two of them to make, like, one part of the armor. Now, how, how, how crazy is that? Now, this is a dilemma. If you want to advance really fast on SAYF nowadays, you have to spend a lot of money. Well, although free-to-play players will have like a really hard time getting these materials and uh, if they don't have the necessary skills, they might not even finish the um, dungeon for that matter. But it also depends on your willpower. I mean, <laughs> if you're willing to go on despite despite the odds. But yeah, um, it actually has like 20 minutes of... Uh, yeah, it, it has a limit of 20 minutes per run. And if you can kill it before that, then that means that uh, yeah you have a chance at least. Well, you're not gonna finish it as fast as paper players are, but at least you can finish it. And do take note that this doesn't have any limit. So once it's available, you can actually just, you know, keep on doing it. And uh, yeah, all right. So one other thing that we had to talk about, which I actually forgot earlier, is the Awakening Star. Um, this is the thing that you need to use um, to enhance this, uh, what do you call this? this, this rush skill, this Awakening skill. But yeah, um, the thing about it is you can only get it through the event now, the faded photographs, but I'm not sure how we can get more of them in the future because I already maxed out them in the trader. But yeah, we, we're gonna wait for the uh, announcement if there's any, there's gonna yeah. be an announcement about that, but yeah. Anyway, yeah, I think we covered everything for today. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching and um, thank you so much for being patient with me if I, you know, been gone for like a month. And I'll see you all on the next video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Peace out.